Hello all. Joining you from an air conditioned car in Mexico before my dentist appointment. Bringing you a tip and tool about depression and anxiety. I am a recovering alcoholic of 26 years and believe it or not, I suffer from depression and anxiety. And there's some things that I've learned along the way. First and foremost, seek professional help. Because if you talk to your friends or your support group and you're feeling suicidal or like you're crazy, they are not medical doctors. So seek professional advice, that's first and foremost. What's worked for me throughout the years, and it's a practice, and whenever I say practice, that's because I am so imperfect, and I do this human thing totally imperfect, and I practice these things. And as I go on in my recovery journey, I get to add more things to my toolkit. And so I'm gonna go over the top three things that help not always combat, help me when I feel that cloud move in or when I wake up in the middle of the night, I often do at 2 a.m. and my brain is going like crazy. There are a few things that, that help. So I'm gonna go over the top three that work for me. Prayer and meditation and I link those together for me, it's about, I pray to a higher power that I choose to call God, whoever you pray to. I also talk to angels. I believe I have these angels that are with me at all times, and I talk to them. So middle of the night, wake up with angst. Uh, for me, I have dreams that are often very dark and scary. And so, the best way to get into the present right here, right now, is for me to either get on my knees and pray and or talk to my angels and remember where I'm at. I'm currently in Mexico. When I woke up last night, remembering I'm safe and we have a place right on the ocean. So for me, it, it was safety, prayer and meditation, talking to God talking to the angels, and then remembering where I am and listening to, as people walk by my car, to my spirit guides in the ocean. Breath, breath is so important. Deep, big belly breathing all the way into your stomach and out through your mouth or out through your nose, big belly breathing. I have many, many stomach issues. I have all my life. Um, I'm seeing a naturopath for stomach stuff, uh, but I have had food issues and stomach issues all my life. And often when I wake up with a pain in my gut, I can breathe it away. So prayer and meditation, breath, and the third thing that is really helpful to me, and not often in the middle of the night, but sometimes in the middle of the night, is how can I get out of myself and my fear and this feeling of angst and worry? In the middle of the night, it's praying for others. So I go down a list. I have a list in my head of, of people, family that I pray for. When I'm up and I'm having that feeling, it's reaching out and calling, talking to people. Uh, I get to mentor a lot of women. And so it's picking up the phone and asking them how they are doing, how they are feeling, and then being very still and listening. See, when I share about my anxiety, about this feeling of anxiety, I don't like to call it my anxiety. When I share about my worries, anything going on, it intensifies it. 
because I'm a believer of what we focus on expands. And so it's not helpful to tell them all my fears and worries and issues. It's more important when I'm in that feeling to listen to them and ask them how they are doing. Those are the three things that have worked throughout my 26 years to help alleviate worry, pain, stress, anxiety, depression. How about you? What do you do when you are in the midst of pain, worry, and anxiety? As always, please click the subscribe button, comment, I would love to hear from you and hear how these tools are helpful to you. And you can always download my free vision map starter kit where you can get started on living a life filled with intention and creating, turning those visions into reality. All right, happy day from Moms and Neo. Wishing you well. Mwah.